Welcome back everyone to Laura the Shadow where today we are here in the Chamber of Crossroads getting ready to speak to Bosey after we killed some bugs. Right, Bosey? You have done well, friend. Good work! You are ever a friend in need and I am at your service. You continue to suppress me with your inextinguishable fervor towards our cause. Ooh. Alright, and I get some enhancement runes. i really like to someday actually be able to use these. The Gridbig were a dreadful hazard, and despite your efforts, they will undoubtedly return in time. But we can't spend overlong dealing with these minor threats. See, to wholly wipe out the mount would involve resources beyond what I can provide. We must turn now to other matters, and defend ourselves from the returning Gridbig whenever we must. What I truly desire above all else is a chance to look at the records and histories from the old days. Y who knows what secrets lie untold beneath the dust, pages, tablets, and tomes to be found throughout the caverns of Moria. There should be stone sore houses located within the great delving of Moria, and they are thus named the Chamber of Knowledge, the Chamber of Wisdom, and the Chamber of Deep Thought. You're setting a lore master into those three places and not expecting her to get completely lost in reading the pages, right? Okay! Yes, find these storehouses within the Great Delving and search them for the records of the old days. Return to me when you have found something in each area. Right. Let's go and search. We seem to have some flying creatures up above. Bats! Well, we can deal with bats, right? Actually, let's bat the bat. Alright, uh, they seemed to die before I could do anything. Alright, let's see what we got here. You found an ornate chest piece from a set of heavy armor, old but of superlative craftsmanship and raked with clay ma claw marks, lying seemingly unattended. You may wish to find out more about it. Well, I don't know about that. I'll take it to the Chamber of Crossroads, though. Now, let's see if I can find that Chamber of knowledge, wisdom, deep thought, or all of the above. Ooh, here's a chamber right here. Hmm. It looks like much of the knowledge of this chamber is lost. Ooh, what's in here? An old box. Hmm. I find something written in here. Some of it's legible. Not much of it, but some of it is. Blacksmith only demonstrated his plan for a new weapon today. Such a plan would have anyone else left from the court, but he has the, the trust of Durin, and any demands he makes are greeted with affection and all the resources he might desire. Had I such a patronage, I too might create works of such beauty and weapons of such might. The latest child of this Largess, an axe made entirely of mithril, so light it might be wielded one handed by even a child of fifty, and so sharp that it might cut through all things with a single sweep. Ziegelbert! It will be called, and it is the will of Durin that a special group of forges shall be built solely for its making. Even more insults, Ingoy has always coveted his privacy, and the door to these forges will be hidden, only opened through some trick. The trick will be recorded in Kutub Zanhar, but... That does me little good. I will not be given access to these forges, and my labors will continue to pale in comparison of those of Ongli. 
a curse upon the head of Ong Lee and his secret forge, and the mithril axe he will make there. May his works come to nothing, and his name never be remembered. Rothi, who just assured that he will be remembered. Ha! <laughs> oh boy, the irony. Now let's see if we can find this chamber of wisdom. Most likely they'll be talking more about this dreaded Ziegelbert or something like that. Because whoever wrote that first one sounded like a bit of a wise guy. Now, let's see what we can find. Up here, I believe it's supposed to be. Ah! So, okay, it could be a chamber of wisdom. The books are a lot more intact here. I'm surprised the orcs never got around to completely ruining this place. It's only partially ruined. Ah! Here's something. Another old strong box. Within the strong box with inscriptions that can still be discerned. Well, what do I discern out of it? Iron delivered to Nor Helab and Hedat Copper and Tin delivered to Norhe. Uh, quantities unacceptable. Complete uh, halt to shipments until com uh, order to resume Mithril for Ong. Eagleberg gives him freedom to boss around, it looks. Okay, so, this does relate to Ziegelbert, it looks like, because apparently he can order Mithril all he wants, regardless of what else is happening. I must admit that I think in all the times I've done this quest, and I've certainly done this quest quite a number of times, I think that's the first time that I realized that it does talk about Ziegelbert in there. Ah, I think I found the Chamber of Deep Thought. Hmm. Looks like a nasty place. Well, let's see if there's anything in these books. You find a weather tome within the strong box. Some of it can still be deciphered. Well, Let's see what it says. Four bushels of grain purchased with tokens of iron. Blades made for the use of Frothri the insulted. Paid for with gold. Alright. One blade given to Hringir the Second for his use in due gratitude. Mail shirt accepted and repaired, waiting for new links from Baglier. Well, this talk about Hrothi the Insulted, well, that's certainly not a name you'd like to get. Before I deliver these reports to Bosi, hey, anything you do with this armor? Greetings, friend. Are you lost? An ornate chest plate, you say? Mm, surrounded by bats. Mm, that's interesting. Perhaps soon we will toast our victory against the Orcs of Moria. The armor you found is a beautiful piece of craftsmanship. What interests me particularly are the gouges on it. They look here and here. I believe this was carried in a creature's claws. And you were attacked by bats, you say? Well, I suppose, but... Why would a bat carry a piece of armor about? That is most peculiar. And something about bit heavy for a bat to carry also. When inspecting finely crafted armor, there is one dwarf who I would count on beyond any others. Siegden. Uh, talk to him here in the chamber of crossroads. He may have some insight into this strange find. Uh, okay. Hello. May Durin return soon to his halls. Uh, yes, I am Siegen, and uh, your servant. Oh, brave Lord Master, why have you sought for me? Uh, yes, these scratches are too deep to have been made by a, even the largest of bats. It would have to have been taken by something much stronger to have pierced armor this well made. Uh, that is all that I really can say. 
Okay, and uh, what does he say? The day of the dwarves is coming. He doesn't think this was done by a bat. Well, neither do I. The bats fit into this in some way, but I've yet to figure out how. Oh, well. So much for that. Now, uh, let's go about and report to this. None of this seems useful, friend. Except... Oh, now wait a moment! Excellent! These records and histories are very old and probably harbor many ancient secrets. They're sure to be tremendously valuable. Uh, oh. Oh, wait a moment. You may have found something here after all. Yeah, what? Oh, I guess I need the... Which is it? Fate, fate uh, resistance rating, and... Okay, I guess this one. This record tells of a mighty axe, Ziegelberg, forged at the heart of fire. And it appears that it was forged in Durin's time by one called Ongli. I have not heard of that name before. How can it be that one so skilled would not be remembered in legend? Maybe Holthry was successful in suppressing the name, at least until now. There is more to be learned in these pages. Could it be that Ziegelbert might yet be found? Uh, my son Bori has been racked by grief ever since Bruin was slain before the doors of Durin. Bring him these pages and tell him of Ziegelbert. It will do him well to le have other thoughts upon which to brood. Go up to the stairs on the eastern side of the chamber, and through the door to the chamber of command. My son Bori is there, and Broger also. Okay, okay, Bori and Broger, right. The bees, the bees, the bees. A rather large chamber for two dwarves. Bruin would have loved to have seen this place. Alas, that Bruin is not here. This is just the sort of adventure he would have relished. Still, I may be able to help you, though my heart is not in it all. It seems that a dwarf who sought to force Ziegelbert relished his privacy, and by the grace of Durin, he was given a secret forge with which to work. I figured out that part already. These pages do not reveal the location of the forge, but they do mention a trick of some sort that would reopen it again. Hmm. The nature of this trick is lost, but these pages indicate that it was recorded in Khatoum Zahar, the word horde of Durin. Now, Khatoum Zahar was once supposed to be on the eastern side of the Great Delving, somewhere north of the Great Statue of Durin. <laughs> I'm sorry, but there's little else for which I could guide you. Find the location and return to me, and perhaps I can unravel some more of this mystery. Boy, his heart's not in it. Well, uh, let's go and see if we can find his Katub Zahar. I think this is the direction he described. Ooh. Scholarly materials. Actually, you would think that there would be more scholarly materials around here. Uh, let's take care of this deep claw. So he won't get in the way. And then we could read the name on the door. Fallen plaque. This broken plaque is faded, but still reads Khatoub Zahar. Now, don't ask me how I can read Old Dwarven Script. That's just entirely matter. I mean, is it written in Westron? I see it has a doom that's rather unlikely. I guess maybe they gave me a crash course. Uh, I think I found the place. I think you have found the answer, friend. Oh, how about that? He said the same thing. You found the location of Katuza Hard, the word horde of Durin. I'm deeply impressed. It's a shame that your report tells of a great infestation of deep claws and cave claws. I hope the bees have 
not ruin too many of the records and histories within the place. It seems that Ogni, the great craftsman who may have forged Zigobert, will is very protective of his privacy. Durin granted him a secret forge at which to work. Norheleb, the heart of fire. The way to Norheleb was locked by means of some trick known only to a trusted few. These pages don't mention the location of Norheleb, but they do say that the trick to opening the way is in Khatub Zahar. Now that you have found it, uh, you should search for this trick. Why didn't you tell me to do that before? Okay. We m if we are to find both the location of the Heart of Fire and the secret of opening its doors, it must be that Zigobert will return to us from the darkness. I will ask the other doors of our expedition if they have come across any sign of Narheleb. Perhaps someone has accounted for the clue, though I'm not hopeful. You must return to Khartoub Zahar, the word horde of Durin, and search for the secret to opening the door. The deep claws you have found will not make it easy, but you are strong enough to deal with those, right? Uh, Khartoub Zahar is on the eastern side. You're right. Okay, okay. You know, you're in mourning and all that stuff, so for sending me there twice in close succession, you'll only get a regular slat. Please. Don't earn a fishy one. Now for round two. With cave claws. They're all over the place. And I guess you're asking for it. Well, seeing how I need to kill over a dozen of these things. Oh, what's this? Anything to do with the word hoard? Let's see. These papers are full of runes that you don't recognize translated into the common tongue. It means nothing to you, but the strange runes are of some interest, for they do not look to be the language that you recognize. These papers are signed Faugir Twist Tongue. Wonderful. What a name to have. Well, maybe somebody will tell me something about these. But for now, we need to kill Cave Claws. And I guess we search nests. And kill more Cave Claws. And maybe someday, we will find some sort of clue. Thing in here? Nah. I suppose it's always possible that there's nothing in here of interest. Well, one last nest. Uh, buried within the nest, you discover rotting pages that mention Narn Caleb. Well, how about that? Here you go, Bori. This must be it. The secret to accessing the heart of fire. This looks very promising indeed. Hmm. Many of the words are faded, and the parchment is rotten. Oh, curse those deep claws and cave claws at Nest and Caleb Zahar. Hmm. Use of the secret to opening the door seems to be punishable by death or imprisonment. Blacksmith only could approve entry, as could Duran, of course. I can't make up the next line, but oh, here we go. The dwarf will be hidden until the following steps are taken. The word must be only, which open, which means that he must be hailed as a master blacksmith or congratulated for his fine works or uh, saluted, I think. And then these words are to be spoken. Bob Kanozohu. That's it! And uh, that's it. All we have to do now is to find the door, right? But still, we have no idea of its location. Right. Hmm. We now have the secret to opening it. 
Yeah, this is a frustrating turn. Uh, speak with my Uncle Broger about this, if you will. He is busy, as usual, organizing our efforts here within the Moria, but he may have some idea that would be eluded from our consideration. Broger is wise and has a great store of knowledge in the old head of his. I would be very happy to have him give us through the adventure as well. Yes, for his input is certain to be valuable. Alright, well... Uh, hello there, Broger. I don't know how much you know about this current adventure. I do not have time for riddles. There's too much to be done. Uh, my nephew has told me of this wild goose chase. Yes, how can we be certain that Narheleb, this heart of fire, ever existed at all? We would have heard tales of such a forge, surely. And Zigobert? An axe made entirely of mithril? Ha 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 Ludicrous! This would surely have been featured in many of our tales before now. And on all doors would have seen its praise until the end of time. You would have better luck catching a wild red-horned goat than you would have finding this ridiculous forge. This secret to opening the door that you have recovered is nothing more than a mad dwarf's muttering. So I take it you don't think it exists. That's right! I have had an idea. What if the goblins have found a heart of fire? Yes, you'll always have my respect for what you did at the doors of Dirin, avenging my poor son with your excellent weapons, but I must be honest with you. I believe that you are wasting your time. As long as you will be traipsing around in the dark looking for a flight of fancy forges, you might as well accomplish something worthwhile. There seems to be a large goblin presence amongst the Silvertain loads, far to the south below the Great Delving. As long as you are searching for this fabled heart of fire, you may as well slay goblins while you do it. Especially the ones that have moved into Gimophilic, the Elder Mine. The goblins are many, and bring an ally or two might be a good idea. Oh, and in fact, why not steal some of their maps? They might have long lived in the darkness, and their crude maps may show the way to this mythical fort of yours, as well as being useful to those of us seeking paths that actually do exist. His confidence is enlivening. Oh well. Let's see. To the Silver Teen Lows, who should bring me right through the Great Delving. Maybe someone in the Great Delving will know something about this a riddle book I found. So it sounds like a good dwarf to ask about riddles such as this. Balin came, but we have heard no word from him. Hammer and tongs! These papers must date back to the time of Duran's rule. A very promising find indeed, Pinelore. Hmm. Falgir Twisttongue was a famous riddle master and tinker of words. These runes are utterly foreign to me, so I believe that they're in a special language that he made up. You should hang on to these papers in case you see any of these runes in Moria. I have a feeling old Fagir left some puzzles to be solved. Alright, uh, I'll keep an eye on them. Keep an eye out for any weird riddles that may be here. But, I think that's it for today's episode, and next time we are going to be heading into the Silver Team Lodes, where we will discover if any maps of the goblins tell us how to find the heart of fire and that'll be in our next episode of the lore of the shadows